Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. It's Monday, so that means it is meal prep day and I have three amazing recipes for you today. I have a really good hearty filling breakfast, a fall inspired lunch, and a no-bake, homemade, clean eating protein bar. I have been on the hunt for a long time for a recipe that is both calorie and WW friendly, and I created it today. So I'm excited to share all three of these recipes with you in today's meal prep. If you're new to my channel, I'd love for you to join me. Go ahead and hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it. Of course, we'd love to have you here. If you love meal prep videos, give this one a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you're checking out the description box down below for my website where you're going to find all of today's recipes, my nutrition coaching website, Highly, highly recommend having me figure your macros and calories. It's great to kind of know where you should fall every day when it comes to calories, macros, and of course, WW points. So I would take advantage of that for sure. I also have group coaching and one-on-one -on -one coaching. So check out my nutrition coaching website. Also, you'll find links and discount codes to the items that I shared with you today, as well as all of my other very favorite things. And lastly, you'll find the link to join us over on Facebook. We would absolutely love to have you in that community as well. So so take advantage of the services and the communities that are out there to help you on your journey. So let's jump in to this week's meal prep. this week I'm making tater tot breakfast casserole for some reason I've been craving tater tots and I saw this recipe and it's breakfast and tater tots all in one so let me show you what's in our recipe you're going to need onion and garlic powder milk of your choice I was going to use low-fat milk but we don't have enough so I'm just gonna do almond milk unsweetened you're also going to need lots of eggs about eight eggs for this recipe mozzarella cheese and light shredded cheese Tater tots, I did decide to go with the minis just because everything min miniature is better and you get more. I feel like you get more for your points and calories. So I'm doing the mini tater tots. And then I have one pound of the Italian seasoned ground turkey. And this is 99% fat free. So this would be zero points on both blue and purple. Really minimal points on green. It's just Italian seasoned. So I picked that up. And then last but not least, you're going to need a little bit of salt and pepper. So let's make some breakfast. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and cook down the ground turkey. So I have it in a skillet here over medium heat. I am using the Italian seasoned ground turkey. Now, if you just opt for regular ground turkey, you just wanna season it up to your liking. I recommend salt, pepper, and maybe some poultry seasoning. That way it kind of gives it sausage vibes. You could also use sage. So I just bought the Italian seasoned to eliminate having to add my own seasoning. So it is just about done. And then we're going to combine our ground turkey down with our cheese and our mini tater tots. So in my bowl here, I have 20 ounces of the mini tater tots. I did go ahead and weigh those out on my food scale. And then here is my ground turkey drained, rinsed, so there's no added fat. And then to this bowl, we're also going to add one cup of the light shredded cheese and one half of a cup of mozzarella cheese for a total of one and a half cups of cheese. And then we are going to stir. Stir this all together until it's mixed well. So we have the sausage, tater tots, and cheese mixture. I have a nine by 13 baking dish. I am going to go ahead and spray it really well with some nonstick cooking spray. We do not want anything to stick to our breakfast casserole. And then we are going to add in the tater tot ground turkey and cheese mixture to the sprayed casserole dish. Go ahead and spread it down nice and even, and then we're gonna set this aside so we can do the eggs. So in my bowl, I went ahead and cracked eight large eggs. I'm going to give that a quick whisk together. And then to the eggs directly, I'm going to add my salt, pepper, onion, and garlic powder. So let's go ahead and add a good-sized pinch of pepper, good-sized pinch of salt, 
Onion powder, I'm gonna do about a teaspoon of onion powder and a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then I'm going to give that just another quick whisk because I probably should have grabbed a larger bowl because we're gonna add two cups of milk to the egg mixture before we add it to our casserole. So this bowl is going to be very, very full, but I'm going to whisk in my two cups of milk and then we'll add that to the breakfast casserole. So now I'm going to take my very, very full bowl of egg mixture mixture and we are just going to pour this right over the top of the tater tots and the sausage this should be enough mixture to get everything nice and wet and then once it cooks in the oven the eggs will solidify and we'll have a really delicious kind of scrambled egg tater tot type of a casserole but look at this you guys okay this is going in an oven at 350 degrees for 60 to 70 minutes or until your eggs are set so make sure that your eggs are fully cooked and set before taking it out of the oven all right look at this breakfast tater tot casserole doesn't this look so good the tater tots got nice and crispy this is a huge casserole so i'm going to let it rest for just a couple of minutes and then i'll slice it up for the week and i'll be back to share points and calories so i went ahead and cut this into eight servings you can either do six or eight so let me tell you first about cutting it into eight it is only six points on blue and purple and eight points on the green plan. Now you can pair this with some fruit and you have only a six or eight point breakfast, which is not bad. Plus you get tater tots, I mean tater tots. And it's 359 calories per slice if you cut it into eight. Now if you decide to cut it into six servings, it's eight points on blue and purple and 10 points on the green plan. So whatever your preference is, I will leave both points and calories for six and eight servings on my website. So definitely head over to my website if you wanna recreate this recipe, but doesn't this look amazing? So this is breakfast. For lunches this week, I'm making an autumn glow salad. Now this isn't your traditional salad because there's no lettuce in it, but this is actually a quinoa salad with apples, sweet potatoes. It's going to be so good. I'm super, super excited. So let me show you what's in our autumn glow salad. First, you're going to need quinoa. This is from Imperfect Foods. This is organic royal white quinoa. You guys know I love Imperfect Foods. There's a link down below for $10 off your first box and there's no minimum order. So you can grab your $10 worth of free stuff and just pay minimal shipping and get some free food. So check out Imperfect Foods. I love them and you support eliminating food waste, which is awesome. And then I have a head of cauliflower here from a Trader Joe's. You'll need some oil. This is the Chosen Foods avocado oil. You'll also need sweet potatoes. So I just picked up this bag at Trader Joe's one large apple, and then some seasonings of your choice. So I decided to add some Dax Green Zest. You guys know how much I love Dax. They are salt-free, no MSG, all natural, real ingredients, nothing artificial in these seasonings, and they are so, so good. I love the Green Zest. It is amazing on vegetables. A really nice addition to this recipe. So if you're interested in Dax, check them out. If you want great seasoning before weigh-in, if you have to watch your sodium, I love every single one of their seasonings, every single one. And I do have 10% off in free shipping down below. So check them out, get your hands on some Dax. Grab the pumpkin spice before it's gone because it's amazing. And then I am also going to add just some Italian seasoning and then just some fresh or fresh dried rosemary in this little cute grinder from Walmart. So that is everything that's in our salad. So let's get started. So here in my small saucepan, you can see this is a pretty small pan. I added one cup of the quinoa, one and a half cups of water. You could also use broth. I just didn't want to open up a new container for this. So I just did water and I'm going to let this come to a boil, reduce the heat, pop a lid on it, and then I'm just gonna let this cook until the quinoa is nice and fluffy. So while the quinoa is cooking, I'm going to peel and chop sweet potatoes. I have three kind of small medium. So if you're going to use a medium sweet potato, I would do two. If you use a small, I would probably do four. Mine are kind of in between, so I'm doing three. And then I have one head of cauliflower. I'm gonna go ahead and chop this up as well. I have a baking sheet lined with some parchment paper, as you can see. And once I chop these, I'm just going to pop them on the baking sheet, get them seasoned up, and we'll get these cooking along with the quinoa. Once 
once you have everything chopped up, we're gonna season them up and get them into the oven. So I have some avocado oil here. I want about a tablespoon, so I'm just going to do just a quick drizzle. And then I'm going to add my seasonings. And once all the seasonings are on, I like to take my hands and kind of mix it all together to make sure there's a little bit of oil and seasoning over everything. So we are going to salt, start with some salt and pepper. I did not show you salt and pepper in the beginning because it's not in the ingredient list, but then it asks us in the recipe to add it to the veggie. So you will need some salt and pepper if you choose to. So I'm going to add a little bit of pink salt and some pepper. And then I'm going to pop on some rosemary. And again, I did get this cute little grinder at Sam's Club or Walmart. So I'm just going to put on probably about a teaspoon total of the rosemary. And then a teaspoon or so of Dax Green Zest because that is my favorite seasoning as i mentioned it's amazing and then about a teaspoon of italian seasoning as well and then again i'm going to take my hands mix this all up and we are going to get this into the oven at 425 and get them all roasted up While everything's in the oven, I'm going to just go ahead and chop up my apple. Just going to dice it up and then I'll pop it into a little bowl. So I just pulled the veggies out of the oven. They're still really, really hot. I did go ahead and add my cooked quinoa here to a bowl. We're actually going to mix all of this together. So once these cool just a little bit, I'm going to pop them in this bowl with the quinoa. We're also going to add in that diced apple. And then there is a portion of the recipe that is a dressing. It's a lemon and dressing i am choosing not to make that ahead of time i don't know that i'll make that as part of this recipe i may just eat it just like this i may pop a little bit of extra seasoning on there to save the points but i will on my website include the recipe for the dressing if you do opt to make that as well so i'm going to just stir this all together divide it into meal prep bowls and then that'll be lunch you say i'm wrong but i think i need it So once it's all mixed together, we're just going to divide it evenly into our meal prep bowls. So I'm just going to put a scoop in and I'll just repeat that until I have six bowls because the recipe makes six servings. And then I'm just going to top it with some of the apples. So I have it divided into six bowls. And then lastly, I'm just going to divide this apple among the six bowls. This looks so good. It gives me a lot of feelings of fall because apples and sweet potatoes it looks really good and hearty now if you wanted to pump up the protein in this lunch you could pair this with some chicken for zero points or any other zero point protein if you wanted to add up your protein now i may do that i may pop a little bit of chicken or something on top of the bowl just to bulk up the protein because you know how i am about reaching my protein goal but this looks incredible so this is the bowl without the salad dressing again i will link the dressing for the original recipe on my website but let's go over the points and the calories so again the recipe makes six bowls or six servings it is six points on both the blue and the green plan one point on purple because you don't have to count the quinoa the potatoes i mean that's amazing one smart point for this bowl on purple of course that is without the dressing and it's 240 calories so autumn glow fall vibe lunch <laughs> can't tell you how excited I am for this week's snack. I have been on the hunt for a clean, healthy, reasonably point and calorie protein bar. And I finally came up with this recipe and I'm so incredibly excited about it. So let me show you what's in our no bake, which is even better, double chocolate protein bars. First, of course, you're going to need protein powder. This is a brand new bag because I love this powder so much. This is about my third bag I've purchased. This is the LiveWell plant-based protein. It has 16 grams of amino acid, 17 grams of complete protein. Most protein powders on the market are not complete and two grams of naturally occurring sugar. It's free from GMO, soy, gluten, and dairy. It's plant-based, it's amazing. They have the chocolate or the cacao. This one is the cacao. Vanilla, coconut, and unflavored. You guys know if you follow my channel how much I love Live Well. I cannot 
rave about their protein powder enough. It is not chalky like traditional plant-based protein. It is so smooth and delicious. It's fantastic to cook with. It's great in a protein shake. I'm literally just obsessed. So I'm going to link this down below for you guys with a discount code. Highly, highly recommend Live Well. In my opinion, the cleanest, best tasting, most affordable protein powder out there. So we, of course, are using cacao because we're making a chocolate protein bar. You'll also need chia seeds, rolled oats. My oats are from the Thrive Market. Again, there's a link down below for that as well, where you get a gift up to $24 value when you use that link to join the Thrive Market save 30% or more on prices from the traditional grocery store. So it's awesome. And it ships to your doorstep and you don't have to go out and grocery shop because of COVID. So check out Thrive down below. You'll need cooking spray, coconut oil, nut butter. Now I just recently discovered the Wild Friends nut butter and I love it. I bought their seasonal pack. It actually has sugar cookie, pumpkin, chocolate pumpkin, and gingerbread peanut butter. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so so good they have regular peanut butter as well almond butter it is the best i've ever had for nut butter i don't have a code or anything for them i have reached out they have not responded back but if you're watching this wild friends i would love to work with you so i am going to link wild friends down below for you guys and if for some reason i can get a code which i doubt but before then i will try i'll link that as well but look sugar cookie i'm gonna put this in there because i think that's going to pair really well with the chocolate in the protein bar so love wild friends so so much you're also going to need some maple syrup and then chocolate chips i'm just going to use lilies because this is kind of a point heavy bar so i want to limit the amount of points from the chocolate chips so i'm going to go with lilies so let's make some protein bars so to make our protein bars it's super easy you're going to need one bowl we're going to start with two scoops of the cacao live well protein powder it's a good size scoop you guys and it's one to two points per scoop on ww the vanilla is one point the chocolate unflavored and coconut are two points per scoop but i'm telling you it is the best in class so i do have two scoops of my live well protein powder i'm also going to add one half cup of that sugar cookie nut butter what i love too about this wild friends nut butter is you don't have to stir it up a whole lot like it doesn't get hard on the bottom of your jar like a lot of the other nut butters do it is so good it's so creamy and flavorful it's amazing do be mindful though that the flavored ones like the sugar cookie that i'm using do have sugar so if you're going to eliminate sugar just go with a natural nut butter like the plain wild friends peanut butter almond butter but i decided to do a little added extra oomph to these bars with the sugar cookie and then i'm going to add in two cups of my organic rolled oats one third cup of maple syrup you could also use honey so if you don't have maple syrup on hand feel free to use honey as the other liquid and sweetener for this recipe one tablespoon of melted coconut oil I have three servings of Lily's chocolate chips. I just weighed those out on my food scale. And last but not least, two tablespoons of chia seeds. And now let's go ahead and give this a stir. We want to mix everything really, really well. We don't have a lot of liquid in here. Really, all we have is our honey, our coconut oil, and our syrup. So we want to do a really good job of making sure that that protein powder gets mixed thoroughly. Once everything is mixed together, look at this. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing, you guys. You're going to take an eight by eight, nine by nine, whatever you have, baking dish, line it with some foil, and then we're going to spray it with our nonstick cooking spray. We just wanna make sure that our bars do not stick. Even though there's some oil in there from the coconut oil, we just wanna be extra careful. And then we're going to take our bar mixture, put it here into our pan, and then I'm just gonna use my hand and press it down to make a nice, even, solid bar at the bottom of the baking dish. So here are our bars. These look incredible. I'm actually going to pop this in the refrigerator for about an hour. They'll set up really nicely because of that melted coconut oil. Do not omit the oil. That is what is going to actually form these bars and solidify them so we can cut them into protein bars. I will give you a little pro tip. If you do not want to use regular peanut butter and you want to cut down the points a lot, you could certainly use PB2. So that's an option as well. 
but let's get these in the fridge. All right, I just pulled the protein bars out of the fridge. So it's gotten nice and solidified, and I'm going to cut it into 12 bars, and I'll be back to share points and calories. All right, so I went ahead and cut them into 12 bars. So pretty darn good sized bar. Here is what it looks like. Woo! Sliding on my cute little happy Halloween plate. So let's go over the points and calories. Again, here's the size of the bar. Nice big bar. So it is 12 bars are seven smart points per bar on the blue and green plan and only five on purple. And again, that's using real peanut butter. Now, if you did cut back to PB2, you could definitely lower the points possibly quite substantially. So I recommend that if you did not want to spend seven or five points. 192 calories. I'm excited to finally have a clean protein bar that's WW friendly and calorie friendly. There aren't a lot of protein bars on the market with 192 calories full of clean ingredients. So I am pretty darn excited. So hopefully you guys like this recipe. You can change it up. You could use vanilla protein, coconut protein, kind of change it up to whatever you want. But how great is it to have a clean, healthy protein bar that you make from scratch? Thank you for joining me on this week's WW Meal Prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. And don't forget to check out that description box where you'll find my website so you can find the recipe and recreate it for yourself and your family. They're all absolutely delicious, let me just tell you. Again, you'll find my nutrition coaching website, links and discount codes to the items I shared with you today, as well as all of my other favorite things and the link to join us over on Facebook, all down in that little description box, so check that out. Also, if you are new again, I'd love for you to join my community. Just hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it. That way you're notified when new videos are uploaded. And lastly, I'd appreciate a big thumbs up if you enjoyed today's meal prep. I appreciate it and it helps out my channel. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me. Happy, happy Monday, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.